Hey guys, I got some exciting news and some really just crazy news. Loans going out to ghost unidentified borrowers. Yes, like not UFOs, like unidentified flying objects, but UBs, unidentified borrowers. Plus the floodgates opened after a lawsuit over an SBA grants. Money that's coming out next week, no kidding, this is amazing. They're releasing 83 million in leftover grant aid free money. You don't have to pay back to people who were denied assistance in 2021. So this is absolutely incredible. So if you're self-employed or you're a business owner, you definitely want to stick around. Also, why are they doing it? Because the program burned through 28.6 billion in three weeks. Now that's a spending habit. If you had a wife that spent 28.6 billion, you'd probably divorce her. That'd probably be, you know, like Jeff Bezos, right? Also, if you didn't get paid your PPP money, stay tuned to the end of this video. I want to talk to you about that. Also, details in this video about actionable items that you can do with the SBA providing financial aid to people who experienced loss due to physical harm brought on by the Hurricane Ian. Details about that that help you out. Also, I'll tell you how to check your local area to see if they're putting out money. You'd be surprised. There are disasters all over the country. One's probably in your area. Most people have a disaster in their area and you don't know about it. Now, Hurricane Ian, according to Stephen Clark, the organization public affairs specialist who spoke at the city council on November 15th during its meeting, Hurricane Ian has caused a lot of loans to be dispersed. Yeah. However, this particular collection of loans is being dispersed to an unidentified group of borrowers. The application deadline, though, has been extended to January 12th. I'm not making this up. This is just crazy stuff. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm all about getting your money, leveraging it with loans so that you can make your life just unbelievably financially successful. I can relate to you most likely because I've been homeless and broke to multi-millionaire four different times and finally have secured my success and feel good about it to the point where I feel strong enough to pull you guys up as well. Since I've done it four different times, I've figured out how to create companies, 32 of them, 17 industries. I bought 17 of them and I want to buy 99 more with you, partner with you. You get 81%, I get 19%. I put up the money. We're looking for successful businesses that we can buy together. Maybe your competition if you're in business. And I'm looking for strong operators who can operate those businesses. There's a link in the description if you're interested in Epic 99. If you're interested in selling your business, go to my contact information. All of it is in the description. My Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. If you need a loan, you know what to do. I got 12 different programs in the description, 80 lenders, direct lenders, getting you money every single day. Every single day, I'm putting out loans on the street to people. So make sure if you need a loan, check out that 12 different programs. Plus your free stock is down there too. Get absolutely free stock, open up an account for a penny. It's incredible. Plus I got programs down there. If you're new, let me catch you up. The SBA provides long term, low interest loans to nonprofits, business owners, self-employed homeowners and renters whose property has been harmed from the storm back in September. Damage to buildings, exteriors or interiors such as primary homes and secondary properties to use for business purposes. Or if you got rental income, for example, this is another one that's covered. Both non-luxury automobiles as well as interior finishes with restrictions on luxury furnishing like antiques. So if you got an antique that's worth a million bucks, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get a million dollars for that. But if it's a chair, they'll probably replace it with a chair. I'm I'm just saying. Now, mobile homes are regarded as personal property. Still, you can get money for that. It's not necessarily considered as real property unless it's attached. If you're not in real estate, you probably don't know that. I have a real estate broker's license as well as a real estate office. So quite a bit of information on that. So let me get into that grant money, that free money that's going out and talk about that for a minute because there's $83 million you can get your hands on. Plus, there's $3.1 trillion still out there, folks, in this money that our government has from what was provided from the pandemic. Still there. We need to put a lot of pressure on them, which is something I want to talk about at the end of this video with the PPP. Talk about that at the end. Now, Sean Kennedy, the EVP of Public Affairs at the National Restaurant Association, said in a statement. Now, this is good lobbying. Good lobbying. This is where they're getting you money. There's bad lobbying like Sam Bankman free that FTX $32 billion just vanished out of thin air. He pulled a Bertie Madoff and nothing's going to happen to this guy because he paid the right people. Corruption is a well 
well and alive. In fact, I'm going to New York this next week. He's speaking there after millions of people lost money. Crazy. Anyway, but the good lobbying. Let's get back to the good stuff. Grants, that's going to you. This is a quote. The SBA's action represents the final chapter of nearly three years of effort to secure dedicated federal pandemic relief dollars for local restaurants. He continued, quote, Today's announcement is great news for those 169 operators fortunate enough to receive a RRF grant, but hundreds of thousands more are struggling unnecessarily. He also continued, quote, we will continue to press the solution of the federal, state, and local level. So this is money that needs to go to us. This is grant money. There's 3.1 trillion. They can still put out in lots of different programs that they should be putting out to people that are hurting. The U.S. Small Business Administration is now going to release $83 million in leftover restaurant revitalization funds, aid to restaurants who were denied the 2021 because of the program. Well, they burned through $28.6 billion in about three weeks. That's a pretty tough spending habit, right? Like they just spent the the money pretty fast. It had to get out. The grants will be distributed to applicants in the order that the request came in and the assistance will if they ask for it in 2021. And the SBA said in a statement released on Wednesday that they'll be getting it. So make sure you check it out. 169 recipients have been alerted about the selection according to the agency and the funds are expected to be provided next week. Recipients will have until next March to spend the money. If the money is used for the approved purchases, no repayment is required. This is absolutely free money. About $180 million of this restaurant relief fund, the RRF, originally $28.6 billion was held back by the agency. Sticky fingers, the program administrators, they said to cover what? Legal costs, attorneys. Attorneys cost that much money? That's crazy. Well, the SBA was sued by two different parties of operators for giving preference to aid requests from women and or operators who could provide they were economically or socially disadvantaged. The suits contained that the allocation process violated the federal anti-discrimination rules. So as a result, litigation's over, money's going out the door. So good news for you. Now, switching back over to the EIDL, both in your area, as well as I got to cover Ian, the applications in Hurricane Ian must be able to show that disaster resulted in the damage from the hurricane, that their credit history is respectable, and that they're capable of repaying the loan. These are loans, low interest, incredible 30-year loans. For those of you who don't have access to other forms of credit, these interest rates are super low. Now, Clark, Stephen Clark, advised applicants to visit one of two nearby disaster recovery centers to speak with the SBA officials in person, even though applicants can submit their applications on online at disasterloanassistance.sba.gov. The centers will have FEMA representatives, your federal dollars at work, to simplify the application process for the disaster aid. Quote, kind of a one-stop shop to help you out. The closest location are Clio Coney Urban Enterprise Center at 1907 East Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa, open seven days a week. Also Lehman Exchange at 5175 45th Street in St. Petersburg, open seven days a week as well. Or you can visit sba.gov disaster or call 800-659-2955 for details. The deadline is June of 2023. The SBA is also providing providing this economic impact disaster loans to those who had non-physical losses, such as having their firm closed if you had to close down your business. I also want to remind you that these kinds of loans are all over the disaster region. This does not exclude the hurricane in either. We've seen a ton of droughts throughout the country, and there are lots of areas where the EIDL is in your area. So make sure you go to sba.gov disaster assistance and check to see if there's a disaster disaster in your area, you'd be surprised. Almost, I mean, Nevada has it, California has it, almost every state has some sort of disaster that's been declared and you might be able to get this very low interest money that's over 30 years. It beats going to a bank. I would check there first. If you got denied a PPP loan and you applied for one and you feel that you should have gotten it, I'm putting together a group of people to push the SBA to go ahead and fund those funds because there is money out there and I think you're entitled to it. 
and I believe that you were discriminated. But collectively, we can come together. I put a form together called PPP Funding Denied down below. And uh, please just put in your simple name, your business, and your email so that uh, we can keep you up to date and the amount that you applied for. This is important because most of the research I found, people were denied if they asked for less than $50,000. Basically, banks just considered that you were fraudulent, period and didn't lend to you. I know over 80 banks that did that. Please go ahead and submit your information down below and uh, hopefully we will get you that money that you should have gotten forgiven. Take care, I'm Andrew Cartwright, love you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you wanna see more grants, I made more right here on Epic Grants.